Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, this is kind of like a follow-up on my multi-step series basically. So if you have guys haven't checked out the first video, um, I would highly recommend you to check it out. So I talked about some of the principles you can use when trying to solve some of these more complex multi-step questions. So this is a set that's been sitting in my Google Doc for quite some while now and I've just been waiting for another question set basically just to kind of like get it out. Um, and so finally I've got the chance to be able to do that. Um, so let's discuss this question. So the first thing I want to say is I would 100% skip it, right? It really, really isn't worth it. Um, this question looks dreadful, okay? The table looks dreadful. The question in itself is about a paragraph long. You've got two subtexts underneath the table and you've got a whole abstract on top of it as well. So 100% a skip. But when we come back to it, obviously we'll have to do our best to do it. So let's have a go at this. So the company bought a two hectare derelict scrapyard, okay? Demolished the buildings for clearing the land and selling it for commercial use. Okay, so demolished, sold it clear the land. How much profit did the company make? So if I read just above here, it says the profit is the amount of money received from the sale of the land minus the cost of buying the land and the cost of demolishing. And so technically we know what we have to do. It's just three things to work out, but it's going to take us some time. So let's take it bit by bit. So how much money do you get from the sale of the land? Well, let's have a look. So it's two hectares. So it says the company buys the land at a cost of 1.6 million per hectare. It sells the land at 1.2 million per acre. One hectare is 2.47 acres. Okay. So we bought two hectares. So to convert that into acres, we times that by 2.47. And then we times that by 1.2 million. Okay, so to figure out how much money we get, which is 5.928 million pounds. Okay, so then we've got our costs. So in terms of our costs, we've got buying the land. So buying the land. Let's have a look at this one. So buying the land. Um, does it, what does it say here? It buys at a cost of 1.6 million per hectare. So that's just going to be 1.6 million times that by two because we bought two hectares, which is just 3.2 million. So you don't need a calculator for that one. And then, so that's buying the land, but then you've got to demolish the buildings and clear the land. So then buying, and then I'm going to do, I'm going to call it works, which is basically both demolishing and clearing the land. So where does it say about demolishing and clearing? It doesn't mention it anywhere in the in these two kind of areas that I mentioned here. So I'm going to read up at the top. I'd probably have to read the abstract here. So the company buys land occupied with derelict buildings and demolishes them before selling on the vacant land. The table shows the cost of demolishing and clearing the land in thousands of pounds per hectare. So these are paid in addition to the cost of purchasing the land. So remember, previous and end use, it said it was a derelict scrapyard and it's turning it into commercial use. So this is the number that we're looking for. Okay, so 590,000 pounds, okay, so the better way, because we're working in millions here, is probably just to call it 0.59 million, but that's per hectare, if I'm not mistaken, 1,000 pounds per hectare, so times by two, because we have two hectares, so it becomes 1.18 million, okay, so the total costs is therefore going to be the 1.18 plus the 3.2, which is 4.38 million. And remember, our profit was A minus B, basically. So it's just going to be 5.928 million minus 4.38, which is going to be 1.548 million pounds. Okay, so the answer is going to be 1.548 million pounds. Okay, great. So on to the next question then. So one of the other things that I would say about um, when you're doing kind of these multi-step questions that are quite complex is that normally it's okay to spend a little bit longer on the first one, okay? If you're, obviously, obviously this is assuming you'd come back to it after you skipped it. This is like the last set you're doing. It's okay to spend a little bit longer to understand because now we know the concept of how to do these questions. The following questions should therefore be in theory a lot easier, okay? So for example, so it says an old derelict factory site Okay, so factory site, rectangular in shape measuring 0.4 kilometers by 0.6 kilometers. Okay, how much in total would it cost the company to buy the plot of land? Okay, demolish the factory and clear the site. We know exactly how to do this question now. And it says for open space. So we know when we have to, this is the unit that we're going to use. So we can see that it's given in kilometers. I'm going to convert it into meters. So the total area is going to be 400 meters by 600 meters which is 240,000 meters squared, okay? And 10,000 meters squared is a hectare. So if we divide this by 10,000 meters squared, we'll get that this is going to be two, um, what's the word? Um, it's just going to be 24 uh, hectares, okay? So it's going to be 24 
hectares. Okay, so 240,000 divided by 10,000. So how much would it cost to buy the plot of land? Okay, so 1.6 million per hectare. So times that by 1.6 million. Uh, 24 times 1.6 is like 38.4 million. Don't worry, I typed that into the calculator. I did not do that in my head. Um, so yeah, I probably should have. So buying, uh, dem demolish and clearing the site. Okay. Um, so yeah, so here actually it's nothing about profit. So this question is actually a little bit easier than the last one, if anything. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the order in which it appears in the Medified set, but nonetheless, so demolish the factory and clear it for sale. So this is £500,000 per hectare. So therefore, the works is simply going to be 500000 which is wrong with the same as 0 0.5 million. 0 0.5 million times 24, which is just... 12 million okay and then the total cost is just going to be 38.4 plus 12 million so these are both in millions i guess so that gives us 50.4 million pounds okay so the answer is going to be 50.4 million okay Cool. So once again, you can see how knowledge of the previous question definitely helped with this one. We kind of figure out our rhythm now. Okay. On to the next question then. So a company bought a derelict petrol station with an area of 0.9988 acres. They demolished the building before clearing the land, selling it. How much profit did they make on sale of the land? So it's the same thing we're doing again, 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 again. Okay. We just have to get faster and faster at it. And honestly, this concept is weird. This question set in a way reminds us of what QR is about right? What is the essence of QR? And why do I say that every student can get 900 in QR? Because it's the same questions again, and again, and again, and again, right, repeatedly. Um, and so therefore, the, the idea is that we just have to do enough practice. And not only is it about practice, it's about understanding the way that different questions appear, and different question sets as well. So if you guys would like to have a go at this one, maybe perhaps now that you've understood. Okay, so they demolish the building sites. Um, so they so classic idea. So how much is it? to buy so 0.988 acres is 1.6 million per hectare so we've got to convert the acres into hectares so divide by 2.47 which gives us 0.4 hectares so just as a little tip sometimes if you get nice numbers like this after you do a dodgy calculation it's probably a good sign you're on the right line and then you have to times this by 1.6 million and that's going to give you 0.64, I think. I tried to do that in my head. Yeah, just double checked on the calculator. 0.64 million to buy. And then the works. So what are we doing here? It's a derelict petrol station and selling it for housing use. So 510 per hectare. Okay, so it's going to be 0.51 million. Uh, and how much profit do they make? So 0.51 million times... So it's going to be, this is per hectare, right? And how many hectares do we have times 0 0.4? Sorry, I was tripping out there. 0 0.4 times 0 0.51 is going to be 0 0.204. So um, 0.204 million. Okay. And so how much profit did they make on um, the sale of the land? So sales of acre land are 1.2 million per acre. Okay. So then for the sale is going to be 1.2 million times 0 0.988, 1 1.2 times 0 0.988, which is 1.1856 million, okay? And then all we have to do is add up these two values together, so 0 0.64 plus 0 0.204, which is 0 0.844 million, and so the overall profit is 1.1856 minus 0.844. And that gives us 0.3416 million, which is going to therefore be equal to 341,600 pounds. Okay, so that's what the answer to that one is. Perfect. Okay, great. So. Okay, so with this question, so it says a plot of land is square 
and the length of the diagonal is 250 meters squared. So 250 meters, um, how much would it cost it to buy the plot of land? So basically you need to figure out the area of it. So there's actually two ways of doing this question. So when I was about to record this video, I was going to just do it the easy way in terms of the normal Pythagoras way. So I'll show you guys that. So all you have to do for that is that x squared plus x squared is 250 squared. So 2x squared equals 62,500. x squared equals 31,250. So x is root 31250. So then to work out the area, it's just x times x, which is x squared, which is going to be just... 31,250. Okay, so I guess actually I could have even stopped at this line. But a slightly faster way to think about it, I mean, I know this didn't really take long, is that if you think about it, if you kind of almost make... This is going to be a tricky concept to describe, and it works in my head, but I don't know if it um, works on paper. So if you think about it, what we're doing here is, so if you make another line that's 250 metres, and you make a square of 250 metres, like this... Okay, so can you see that the area that we have here is equivalent to one quarter of our big square that we made of 250 metres? So the fast way to work out this answer, I guess, of in terms of what the total area is, it's just 250 squared divided by 4, but then you times it by 2 because there's two areas here. So it's just 250 squared divided by 2. But also, I just realized now that I'm looking at this, I think that this is just how Pythagoras was basically proven, I think. So I guess, yeah, the faster way of working this out, whereas if you didn't, if you didn't fancy all the equations, all that is just 3125 meters squared is just 250 squared divided by 2. Um, I don't want to have confused anyone. So like I said, the other way definitely works. But this is just something that I thought about um, while I was um, just going through this question. Okay, so let me see if I can, I can't undo, but let's leave this for now. So important we've got our meter squared, so it's 31250, okay? So how much would it cost the company to buy the plot of land, okay? So buying it is 1.6 million per hectare, we've got 31,250 meters squared. So we divide that by 10,000 meters squared to get number of hectares. So that's just going to be 3.125. Um, just double check that yes hectares and then to buy it times this by 1.6 million okay so then times this by 1.6 million so that becomes 5 million okay so once again that's just a good indication sometimes is if you get really nice numbers after doing some dodgy calculations or what appears like dodgy calculations okay so i hope that all makes sense and um, so I hope this video has been helpful. I know that we only really went over one question set here, but I felt that there were a couple of important ideas here to demonstrate and hopefully it was useful. And please do let me know what you would like to see next. Okay, perfect. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, as always, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And um, thank you so much for 2,400 subscribers and um, onwards.